Thank you very much, Yasser. I'm here with the number one Romanian player uh, in the world, uh, Constantin Lupulescu. Constantin, first of all, what an amazing victory. What an amazing comeback after yesterday's loss. Take us through the game and first of all, tell us how you feel right now. Yeah, great, great. When, okay, a bit shocked because somehow I was worse and then suddenly, suddenly <laughs> I came back and okay. He missed, I think he missed Queen F7. Is this the victory against the highest rate player yeah, ever? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Take us through the game. Let's start from the beginning. Did uh, he surprise you with his opening choice? Uh, not really. So, okay, uh, he played some games so far. So, Queen C2, I was not sure where he's going to go. So, Bishop C3, Queen C3, Queen E7. This was all normal. D4, Knight E4, Queen D3, D4, Knight D4, Knight C5. Queen d1, knight d4, queen d4. You are still in your preparation. Yeah, in still point. in my preparation. But somehow here I underestimated all his idea. I thought it's just nothing, but actually I was also not doing much. So bishop e2, b6, short castle, bishop b7, f3, a5. We were discussing this position and we weren't sure whether f3 was necessarily the practical choice, just because you kind of imbalance the position, the structure a little bit and create some weaknesses. Okay, if was I this want... something that you prepared? Um, I knew this idea. I didn't actually prepare this. Okay, of course, if I want to play it very safe, after bishop e2, b6, I can just uh, go bishop f3, swap the bishops, and uh, exactly. uh, black never has attack. But then um, my winning chances are very Close slim to, to none. Yeah, so I thought, okay, I should keep a pair of bishops and then see what happens. But actually, I was not doing the right things here. So bishop, I don't know exactly what I did wrong. Maybe somewhere I went, I was too slow. Because then uh, maybe some rook a1 and Bishop d1, bishop c3, some another gr regrouping. What I found was not the best, for sure. Well, somehow the position already doesn't feel that uh, yeah, comfortable. My, yeah, for yeah my bishops are not doing much. This is a problem. And he has very easy moves. He can always... This knight is very annoying on c5. He can go knight e6 anytime he likes. And he can prepare how, what happened in the game, like rook f6 and uh, some attacking idea. Did you feel at any point that you're losing control of the game? Yeah, um, actually after queen f7. So here, so okay, here rook, rook f2, rook f6, and here I decided to bail out. I said, okay. Constantine, one second. We yeah. know we have a result right now in uh, the Bogdan Dea game against Mohamed Yarov. That game ended in a draw. Let's continue. Okay, so here I decided to bail out. I said, okay, enough, it's enough. So I played this bishop d3 after, of course, if he just swaps, it's completely equal. And queen f7, here probably I was a little panicking. This rook e2, I totally missed. His queen h5 and uh, piece on e4 idea. Ah. So, I don't Rook know. G6, but I think now it's very easy to play. It's not so easy for me to defend here. Definitely not. Not I couldn't find. Okay, all the time, if I can play, if I play h3, then I risk a lot. I, I was not sure. So I, I saw this regrouping uh, for a long time. This bishop e1, I tried to make it work. But actually, it was quite dubious. So, queen h5, bishop e1, and he played bishop e4. Um, Were you worried about other moves? Actually? Yeah, actually, some bishop f3 ideas. I was bishop takes f3. Immediately. Uh, not immediately, sorry. Uh, so something like a knight. Uh, how is it? A knight. Knight e4 seems to be a very uh, interesting. Knight e4 was also what uh, didn't look so good. Um, ah, knight e6. I have queen h4. I don't remember exactly how we could make. And it another work. way that the computer was showing, I think, was to play either rook h6 or rook g6, force you to go bishop, bishop g3, g3, and now knight e4. Oh, and already very difficult move such as c5 to uh, keep the balance. Well, save yourself on some uh, degree. Yeah, this looks quite bad. Yeah. But he played this move, bishop e4. Did uh, he surprise you with this move? Yeah, okay. I, I only consider it knight e4. So bishop e4 came as a surprise, but I think a pleasant surprise because I thought, exactly. okay, <laughs> now I'm <laughs> somehow swapping some pieces. I'm not doing so bad. And bishop b1, because bishop c2... I was afraid of this line, kind of knight e6 and um, queen, let's say, back, queen d2, and takes and takes and knight e5. But probably it was just nothing. Yeah? Somehow, yeah, I was not doing. Two bishops are still uh, yeah, defending. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check, go king h1, bishop g3, it doesn't yeah, seem yeah, like yeah. he's getting anywhere. Have yeah. a lot of pieces around your king. It's yeah, so this was not. Uh, probably this was better. So bishop e1. We thought bishop b1 is a very natural Also safe looked move. natural, yes. So rook g6 and uh, bishop g3, bishop b1, rook b1, 
And finally, my real contribution in the game after 94, I found this idea with uh, uh, with Queen F7 because I had to sit in advance, otherwise it's quite bad. No, so, I think this was a, a brilliant defense. Uh, yes, so Rook E1 one. and uh, Knight G3. Queen D5 I need because otherwise he returns with the Queen, just pawn down. Yep. So Queen D5, King H8, H G3, Rook G3, E4, and he, okay, he was playing for some tricks because, for example, Queen F3, and if e5 who looks winning then just mm -hmm. <laughs> loses in one moves but I, of course i saw this queen f7 and i thought here uh, for sure i'm not worse uh, and he looks quite uh, yeah h6 i thought he could play h6 and i think i wanted to play something like king h1 and uh, this would probably end in a draw rook yeah well, rook if, if yeah he should probably repeat already because it looks very dangerous do you think he uh, just wanted to beat you at all costs and took unnecessary risks? I or? think yeah. He, I think his approach was not so practical because he was already in big time trouble. So I think maybe also for him it was time to bail, bail out. out. Yeah, because he kind of lost control. I think with he already was approaching. I think he got around three minutes on the clock left, and that was very risky what he did. Were so, you surprised about his time spent, uh, specifically given that? It felt like his position is a bit more comfortable to play. Um, well, a bit surprised, but actually he found this a very good idea. So with the queen f7, and uh, so he found some good moves. So there was some some. He spent the time yeah, wisely. Yeah, wisely. But now I think it was already time to bail out. So he did queen c6. Uh, rook f2. Rook f2. Okay. Next now move. now okay. I'm already playing for a win. I thought because uh, I have some ideas like uh, h6. F6 and let's say if Queen C5 already Queen G8 is winning. And, and this was your G idea in the game, in yeah, the yeah. actual game as well. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Queen C5 and okay, he's already playing for tricks. Okay, Rook E8 I saw, Rook G2 I cannot take, but okay, this is just a draw. Yes. But of course I saw I can play for more. So Queen C5 and Rook E7. Yeah, and here I couldn't really see a defense for him. I don't know if there is, probably not. No. It's game over at this point. Yes. Rook d4, okay. F6, I think it's spoiling things because, okay, he has rook, rook g2 then yeah. with checks. And then, and here, okay, uh, first, of course, I repeat moves once <laughs> because I also <laughs> very short on time. A last force, okay. This is blunder, but probably it's not. Uh, blunder with, to a still winning With a uh, rook up, yeah. Yes. So, okay, so queen h3. Yeah, and here I had to. I was. I think he I had to be. Fine. Yeah, maybe I thought maybe anything it's winning, but <laughs> but then it's dangerous because then you end up playing the move that doesn't win. So finally, I found this idea. Okay. Look, this is a huge victory for you. But more importantly, what does it mean for you to play after one year and a half of inactiv uh, inactivity against all these top players of the world? Okay, frankly, unbelievable. I mean, really didn't expect this. I was I was just uh, you no know, sitting at home and then. <laughs> then uh, this tournament show up. Sitting at home and after that winning in brilliant style. Congratulations. Thank uh, you. Kostika and we'll, we're looking forward to see you uh, next games. Thank you. Guys, back to you.